In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add custom sidebars to your WordPress site with no coding, and you can create a custom sidebar for every single page if you wanted to, and each page could have its own sidebar, or you can create a handful of them and assign them to different topic categories, or you can assign them to some posts, some to topics, some to archives. Depends on how you want to do it, but I'm going to show you how to set that all up right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start making these custom sidebars. I'll see you there. The first thing we're going to do is install a plugin. I'm going to head over to plugins and then add new, and then type in custom sidebar in the search. The one I like to use is the one by WPMU Dev. They have tons of plugins, they're really good at what they do. This plugin has 4.5 out of 5 stars, 200,000 installs, compatible with the current version of WordPress. That said, there's a bunch of other plugins that do the same functionality, so choose the one that you prefer, but the one I prefer is this one. I'm going to install now and activate. Now I'm going to head over to Appearance and then Widgets, which is where the magic happens for this plugin. So the widget area looks a little bit different now. We have a Create New Sidebar section or button custom sidebars area, a site check, which is WPMU Dev's site check, which is free and provides a lot of valuable info about your website if you want to check that out. Up to you. I'm going to click on create new sidebar and I'm going to call this my custom sidebar. Description, I'm going to say custom, then click on create sidebar. Now we can drag and drop the available widgets into this sidebar. I'm just going to drag and drop the text widget and just call it custom sidebar. Then click on save. And now we have a custom sidebar created. Now all we have to do is add it to specific locations. And one thing to note as well, on the right hand side, we have the theme sidebar, sidebar one, sidebar two, which are default for the theme. Different themes have different numbers and different types of sidebars. So this side may look different to you, but if you wanna be able to replace sidebars, you have to make sure this box down here is checked. Allow this sidebar to be replaced. Otherwise, if you try to overwrite it with one of the, your custom sidebars, it won't work. And both these sidebars have that checkbox and are both allowed. I'm gonna click on sidebar location for my new custom sidebar. And here we have some information. If we wanna apply this sidebar to a unique post or page or a set of unique posts and pages that are not in a specific category, maybe they're just random throughout the site, you have to go to those posts and pages individually and apply the sidebar. I'm going to show you to do that in just a minute. But using the settings here, you can overwrite entire sections of your site. This first section says, for all single entries matching selected criteria. So the sidebar we just created is going to replace whatever criteria we choose here. So as sidebar one, so if sidebar one is on the selected categories, so if let's say it's in the movies category, our new sidebar is going to replace all instances of sidebar one in the movies category. Or if sidebar one is on a specific post, we can replace all instances on specific posts. So we choose those two, click on save changes. And now if we head out to our website and browse around a little bit, let's go to the sports category. We see we have on the sidebar, recent posts, recent comments, archives. Let's look at the sports post. We have our custom sidebar under this post because we selected wherever a sidebar one appears on a post, that's where our custom sidebar will go. If you don't like it that way, go back in locations and just turn that off. So this section here, on selected posts, delete that, uncheck that box, click on save changes. Now, if we come right here and refresh this page, we now have our regular sidebar one. We also chose the movies category to be a location for our custom sidebar. So if we head over to the movies category and open any post in that category, we will see that our custom sidebar is assigned to the post. So any post in the movies category will have our custom sidebar. Now if we head back into our widgets, let's create, let's say, most popular post sidebar. Oops, there we go. Create that one. And let's say we want to attach this sidebar to our most popular post. I'm going to just add the text widget again. I'm going to call it popular. 
You're gonna to wanna to look in your Google Analytics or whatever analytics package you use to see what your most popular is. But in this sidebar, you might wanna have a certain promotion because a lot of people are gonna see this because it's your most popular post. So whatever that popular post is, or page for that matter, go over to Posts, find it. Let's say it's the PDF Embed. I'm just gonna click on View to show you how it looks like with the regular sidebar. There's a regular sidebar over there. Then I'm going to, let's close that go into edit for the PDF embed, scroll down to the bottom or near the bottom on the right hand side, we have a sidebars box. For sidebar position one, we wanna have most popular sidebar because this is the most popular post according to Google Analytics. It's not actually, but let's just say it is. I'm gonna click on update and then refresh this page out here and we have our popular sidebar. So whatever you put in that sidebar will appear here. Then you can take it one step further and add a fixed or a sticky widget plugin to have whatever you put, whatever content you put in the sidebar, follow the user down the page as they scroll down. Got a tutorial to that, link down below if you want to check that out. But that's all there is to signing custom sidebars to whatever page, post, category, archive you want on your WordPress site. That's how easy it is to add custom sidebars to your WordPress site. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.